I had a question a few days ago about making a signal tracer and I've been wanting to do this type of circuit for some time. This will detect audio and RF and over on the left is the probe and you can see the center wire goes through a dot zero one microfarad capacitor and it continues straight through to the guitar plug center. Now I like this setup because you don't have to do anything to the guitar amplifier. All you do is plug this into a guitar amplifier and it should work for you. The two capacitors in this circuit, the top one, the dot zero one, lets audio and RF through. The bottom one is the return, the dot zero four seven, and those two capacitors completely isolate whatever you're testing on the left with the guitar amplifier on the right. The diode, when the switch is closed, is in the circuit and that's when you can detect RF. Here's the circuit I built for testing. All the way to the left you can see that I'm using two alligator clips. The red one's going to be our center lead and the black one's going to be our ground to whatever we're testing. And you'll notice in the center I have two diodes. I thought I'd do an experiment and see which diode would work the best. The 1N34A is a germanium diode and the 1N4003 is a silicon diode. Then we've got our 2.2 mega ohm resistor and the leads all the way to the right go up to the plug that is plugged into the guitar amplifier. Here's the guitar amplifier that I'm using and as you can see it's not a very expensive one and it's a transistor audio amplifier and again what I like about this setup is you don't have to do anything to the guitar amplifier. All you do is plug this little circuit into it. I have this tube radio on an isolation transformer and here I've got the probe on RF and I just plugged in the diode and now you can hear the audio. Now that buzzing is part of it's due to the isolation transformer and also my fluorescent lights. Okay, definitely RF there. Now I'm going to go to an audio signal. And then the messages of repentance and holiness and revival that are so dear to my heart for the great viewing audience on God TV. And that sounds wise. pretty good. I tested this radio and a transistor radio not only with this circuit but with a commercially made signal tracer and I got identical results. Now put in the diode and we hear the signal. Here is a transistor radio. I'm going to turn down the volume and connect our probe lead to audio. That sounds pretty good. Now I found an RF spot up here. And notice you don't hear anything at all. Now I'll try this other diode. And it just does not work at all. This, this is the 1N34A Germanium. And it works very well. I can place my order online and it shows up at my door. And I just need to drag it inside and we are good to go. Don't hear anything at all. And again, that one doesn't work. North Carolina's hospitals and health systems are investing in keeping our communities well. You can count on your hospital to be there when so you're sick. So the silicon diode does not work. 
and both diodes are good by the way now we're going back to our audio signals here's the circuit again and of course as we saw in the video we need to use the 1N34A and if you're curious about where I connected the probes I have a number of videos explaining where those points are just go to my channel and just right of the about you'll see a magnifying glass just click on it and search my channel for signal tracing. Thanks for watching.